guys, it's Great DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 11 of season 2 of My Next Life as Villainous. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm so scared. So then Keith definitely has to be underground. Wait, we can't go in right away and storm it. I mean, dang. We gotta find like a back entrance first. They're gonna kill him. Yeah, but Katarina, you can't go in there by yourself. It's too dangerous. Right. Okay, but then also, shouldn't you guys also wait until nighttime? I mean, nighttime is the perfect place to do it. I mean, it's during the midday. You guys are out in the open. People can see you. The look of passion or admiration or just, you know, I'm going to do this. Fuck you. <laughs> Sometimes, not all the time, babe. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah. Just be careful, though. Maybe just a little bit. He's in there, isn't he? That's a Thomas guy. So you two both just used each other. Maybe. Oh god, I'm scared if he opens his eyes, like, mm. He ain't gonna be the same person when he open them. Are we 
pretty sure. I mean. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And what else can you do? But yes, she's on the roof. Oh God, I'm getting Sailor Moon vibes. I don't like this. <laughs> no. No, that's not true. Oh, oh God. This too much. <laughs>
I'm not crying, you're crying. You just got something in your eye. Let's go home and get you some food and water and sleep. Oh. 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 Ah! Oh, it's that dog from the opening. Is it because you wish it was a dog? Okay. No more crying. <laughs> well, damn. Well, thank God Keith is okay. Mm -hmm. That's all that matters. Yeah, you mad about that kiss? <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. Puppy claimed you. <laughs> But dang, he like shootable. <laughs> no, it's okay. At least you're fine.
Is it because of the ghost? <laughs> no. Well, technically, Katarina belongs to all y'all because all y'all are in a relationship with her. That's it. Should, should we talk about that kiss? I mean, it was... It was sweet. I, would this complicate it? <laughs> I mean, but it's always been complicated ever since season one. Because it, it's just one chick, and it's a whole bunch of girls and guys. Well, no, 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 a whole bunch. It's like three girls and three guys. <laughs> three girls and four guys. All in love with the same person, and technically she already has someone, but then it's at the same time, it's like, oh, oh, oh I have a chance, and it's like, oh, God. Uh, uh, but can we just talk about the fact is, like, no matter what happens, any time when somebody is so close to confessing, already has confessed feelings to Katarina, here come the squad, like... <laughs> a video <laughs> it's a door and then like Big Bird so what just says Big Bird just like knocks it down that was literally everybody at the end of this episode <laughs> and Keith just like I love you and then everybody's like boom <laughs> like excuse me what <laughs> but I mean in a way yes even though she belongs to Prince Gerardo like she technically really belongs to everybody because everybody in this group is in love with her but like I said if she had made like clones of herself everybody would be happy everybody would have their own little piece of Katarina which is what of course everybody wants in the end because everybody is so freaking in love with this girl it's not even it's not even funny I mean heck even Sora so we can add Sora officially into this group uh, technically like a couple of episodes ago but the this like three part you know series kind of just like said okay yeah he's officially in this group even though we don't get to see him all the time but he's still there now I mean the dog spot <laughs> he's interesting and the girl with the really pretty like blue turquoise as eyes like she okay 
she kind of reminds me of what the heck was that character's name in, in um happy sugar life um not the girl who kidnapped um well technically she didn't kidnap her she she came walked upon her stumbled upon her um not her and not the little girl it, it's the teenage girl's aunt her especially like with the way she speaks even though like this girl this girl in this series she's more she has like more of a kiddish voice and stuff and the person who voiced that woman in happy sugar life she's more mature and everything so you can kind of distinct the difference between the two and you can tell that it's not the same say you but like the way her attitude is her body language is and everything kind of gives you feels towards that character so something tells me i mean because like i think we have like two more weeks with this show left so i don't think we're going to essentially get that back to where we want on this quote-unquote mysterious character i mean technically we kind Kinda got it but not as much so I'm kind of expecting if this show gets a, thir a third season which I'm guessing when this show ends in like the next two weeks we're probably gonna find out that it probably will if not it'll probably be like an OVA for an episode um but if it does I would like to see more on her but yeah I'm just happy Keith is home around friends and family and he woke up because god it, like all three of these episodes were very very like sad and then you made me cry today <laughs> that's you, that's how you know it's a win you make Deja cry at like the most messed up sad things and just like oh my god like god dang it I didn't want to cry today and the next thing you know it's like here you're gonna cry anyway I'm like great <laughs> just great but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 11 of season two of my next life as a villainess if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for episode 12 bye guys